good afternoon. Sorry about dodgy uh, angle. And I also have Bjorn next to me. Um, I am on a private track, um, just so you know. We're about four, four weeks from lambing now. Um, start of February-ish. We didn't scan, I think I mentioned it in my previous video, um, because we have two batches of sheep to lamb. So we didn't end up scanning. Um, however, we know that our top works. Do you, like they say, where there's livestock, there's dead stock, and unfortunately, it happens. Um, things you literally can't control. Anywho, um, I swayed off what I was talking about. I'm just uh, at my first batch of yows. So we originally had them all in the same place, and then the person we rent sheds off he decided that he wants those back for cattle so he's given us um some other sheds which actually work out better because it's off the main farm and we can kind of do what we fancy here yeah so the sheds that i'm at now is where our gimmers and our five cheviots are yeah so these are our first batches we thought we'd get those served first by the top um just so we know what we're i'm stuck again just so we know that I'm going to be here for those to lamb. So um, this is this is Bjorn, by the way. Look how big he is now. Proper dog. He's nine months this month, which is mad. We got him last year. Um, and he's really good. He knows his lie down. He knows that'll do. It's just his directions with sheep. But we're not really in a huge rush. Obviously, we're lambing, so he's not much much work at the moment beyond that i do good oh boy um so these are our gimmers they have water which i've come to check um and there's one that looks like she's stuck down let's go and have a look at her i'm just gonna have a little walk around oh Yeah, so I think she is um, suffering with bloat or something. I'm going to have to get Ben to have a look. Um, she's puffing a little bit. Um, but the rest seems to be okay. Um, she's previously lambed. And that's not a lamb belly because of how it is. If I can get behind her, you'll kind of see. She's not... She's not running like the rest. Steady girls. And they were mineral drenched and everything two days ago. So in theory, she should be okay. Um, yeah, these are our first batch. Kind of got a makeshift pen here because we have to work with what we've got. Um, I'm not topping this up because they're very fussy and they like to choose what they want to eat. This is fresh hay. And it's good quality hay, so, um, yeah. But she's a bit of a concern. Um, I don't want to press too much on her stomach because she's in lamb. Um, this is Dolly, our first ever sheep. Hey, Dolly. She's very friendly normally. But um, this is where we're keeping our sheep. Um, and then I'll show you the shed we also have for our second batch, which is our mules and welsh mountains that's why we check it looks like there's water flowing and then as soon as you put your hand in it's just a sheet of ice so let's take that out um gotta make sure they can have some water because they need water to survive so you can see he's got eyes on sheep because he wants to work so we have this pen which is made up of ibc's and then we also have at the moment we've got a straw in it but this is going to be where our two tops live because um, we've got no grass at all. So all of our animals are in. Um, 
and then I'll show you the other shed. Um, this was an old silage clamp and then um, it's mucked it out, etc. Um, I'll just show you that. We've got access to all of this. Down the bottom it gets a little bit wet. So we are going to be putting IBCs just from that blue barrel across and then like um, some barrels there and here, just where it's not very good and we don't want sheep to escape because um, they're wild she's but you can literally see how big this space is. Yeah, handy to have just down the road from home. Um, easy for Ben to check on the quad bike which I was going to come up here today on and it decided it didn't want to start on me and it really gets on my nerves so yeah but I'm just going to grab I don't know usually for bloating cattle I'd give vegetable oil but I don't know about sheep so I need to ask some sheep friends who have more experience than me um I think she's just purely gorged too much on the cake that I put out yes or the lick um it's one of those but we'll see, these are all good, they've got hay, they've got water, um, glands, right, beyond that'll do, let's head to the main farm, and, um, that'll do, come on, so, you get those mishaps, it happens, we have sheep, um, but now that I am aware of it, we will be back, um, this afternoon, we've got hay lids to pick up, because we're running out of hay, we're literally on the last few bales. Um, so I'm gonna go to the main farm, which is where we've got our second batch of llamas um, and our tups. Farming is hard. It's financially hard. It's emotionally hard. Like there's so many stresses that come with farming that People who don't farm don't actually realise are a big stress. Um, like, I don't know, simple things like running water. That's a massive stress. On um, Luckily, we're not in that situation. We have running water everywhere that we are. Um, we don't really have to fill water troughs. They have water um, mains in the fields, etc. But that's one of the big worries and then when it gets to weather like this like today we're expected to have five centimeter snow we've had a yellow ice warning um it just makes farming a bit miserable because you're just constantly checking water filling water breaking troughs um buying feeding like we try to farm our sheep um as naturally as possible so we try not to use concentrates like yow rolls, um, feeds. We try to just let them grow and live off grass. However, unfortunately, because we had such a dry summer and then a really wet winter and really warm, the, what's this thing? The grass hasn't grown at all, really. Um, so we've got no grass until March time, at least, which is when we're lambing. So that's a good thing. It means that our lamb's going out to fresh grass. Um, it's just a pain in the arse. We didn't really want sheep in this early before lambing. We just had no choice. Um, and you have to make those choices for the benefits of your livestock as a farmer. Um, yeah, but like I was saying, things happen that you don't really expect to happen. Like a yow having bloat. Why she's been fed cake every day, why suddenly one day she decides she wants to bloat, I don't bloody know and I don't have the answers. I'm not a shepherdess with 20 years of experience. I'm a shepherdess with two years experience, max. So everything is just a massive learning curve. And um, yeah, you just have to learn as you go. But we will get there one day and I've done enough rambling. So I will show you our other sheep in a second. I'm gonna leave Bjorn because we're on a working farm and I don't want him to get run over. That is the worst thing that could happen. Oh. These are our wild sheep. That's a rare breed. She's our white-faced woodland along with her mum at the back. We've got mules and white-faced woodlands and Welsh mountains. And then we've also got two tops. So this is older. He was our first purebred Suffolk we bought. And then this is God knows who. He's a five-year-old, 
proven Suffolk who we brought um, for this year's top in. And yeah, you've put some weight on, boy, which is Hayley's good. hitched up, ready for haylage. Um, me and Bjarne are just gonna head home. Um, Ben's almost finished, I've just seen him. Spoke to him about the Yao, he's not sure, he said Google it. Uh, we shall see. It might just be a case of putting a pipe down now like you do with a cow and see how she gets on. Are you tired? Oh, it's hard life being a working dog, isn't it? That doesn't work. I'm going to try and reverse the trailer into the house. However, it always takes me a while because I'm not the best at it. And there's always something in the way. We're through the gateway now. That was a first timer. Go on, Chloe. Get in. Woo! -hoo. A year or so ago today, I've never uh, used a trailer. I always ask someone else to do it for me. Um, I didn't reverse for shit, let's be honest. Professional. and uh, it's another day I last spoke to you when I was at the sheep um, before we'd even moved the tops um, tops are now moved it is now Friday the 19th of January so I had to look at my diary um, I've got a long list of sheep work to do today Ben's on a AI course he's a refresher um, it's just handy to do sometimes um, I'm just going to pop you up somewhere if I can so yeah, Ben's on a refresher course for his AI in. I haven't been at work this morning and um, I've just given myself a long list of things to do because this weekend we are moving our mules while she's and our two white-faced woodlands who aren't in lamb, but they might as well just be in with our yows. Um, make sure they're keeping their diet on. So I need to go and get some IBCs um, because of our gates that we have our silage clamp that I showed you last time, um, they're just not sheet proof. So we're using IBCs and barrels uh, to fill in the holes. Because we have Welshies and mules who will just get out if they're just wanting to venture out. Um, I also need to move some of our stuff from the farm that the mules are at now up to the farm where they're being moved this weekend. So just some of our bits and bobs like gates, uh, feed bins, feed, etc, etc. I need to fill up barrels with water, which is going to be a long time, but I think I need to go and buy a hose um, because, yeah, I am not doing it bucket by bucket because it's such a long walk all the way around the shed um, where the barrels are. I need to take gates up, etc. I've got a movement form that I need to, move, to send off for... Um, when we brought our tup, our new tup, and yeah, just a manic day. It is about 11 o'clock now. I've just had a lazy morning. I've been up since five o'clock, sorted all the dogs out, um, did a bit of housework, put a load of washing on, I've done hoovering, etc. And yeah, I've just found the motivation after I've had my breakfast, had some lemon curd on toast, lovely. Um, found some motivation, so now I'm going to go and try and load some IBCs into the trailer and move some. Even if I get two IBCs moved, it's still one less trip I've got to do in the dark later on. I will give you a bit of an update when I'm moving. I might film um, this is little Bjarni. Not so little anymore. Um, I try and film a bit when I'm moving IBCs, but I am on my own and... The tractor boys will be around and the boss will be around, the manager will be around. So they don't actually know that I film YouTube videos. Um, yeah, but hey ho, I'm going to go for a quick wee and then I'm going to head off and get some jobs done before Ben literally comes home and be like, what have you done? So I have two IBCs um, collected. I'm out of breath because they're a pain in the ass on your own but hey what can you bloody do i had to quickly cut out i was talking to one of the girls at the farm um but yeah two ibcs have been dropped off i'm just on my way back um to go get some more and they're really they're not heavy it's just getting them into the trailer which is a bit of a faff 
it needs to be done and I've got the trailer and the pickup so I might as well crack on while Ben's at work it means that we've got to do less in the dark we've literally spent every evening this week apart from yesterday because we went out with some friends for lunch um, yeah we've literally spent every day this week um, sorting sheds out vaccinating worming mineral dosing uh, our sheep so yeah you just have to crack on with it really it's the joys another load done now uh guys you're really gonna have to excuse, excuse my appearance today because it's just dreadful um flapping neck tell you what you didn't need the gym when you've got farming <laughs> trust me um yeah in two years i've been farming in the two years I've been farming, um, I've lost four and a half stone. So it just goes to show. If you remember, we had that yow with grass staggers, and I can't remember if I said it in my other vlog that's just gone live. Um, we had that yow that went down and we were treating her. She had all the minerals, etc. She got back on track. Anyway, we think she went down with staggers again. Um, we're not too sure. She was in one of the rented fields, and um, which was close to home, and I was checking. I literally went one day, everything was fine. The day after, we had a phone call saying, we think there's a dead yow in your field by the water trough. So off I went, tried to start the uh, quad bike, it wouldn't work. So off I went in this pickup, reversed up to the gate, walked down to the trough, and there she was. She'd, we believe she's gone down, she's got stuck, and where the water trough is, it was quite boggy because it was a cattle field. Um, that they use for the heifers and it was very boggy and we think she's got stuck and then she's just ended up kind of drowning herself obviously i can't be there 24 7 to stop this from happening so i carted her off etc and one of the sheep man who rents land around here as well he was driving past and he saw me struggle to lift this flipping mule into the back of the pickup so he came and helped me and as we were lifting her up this is gross by the way if you don't want to watch this then please skip um this is just a trigger warning um yeah so i'm going to start talking about death and dead things we lifted her up and unfortunately uh, a fetus dropped out of her um a fox had got her in the night after she'd struggled after being down and he'd literally tore out her insides which is it's very disheartening because we put literally everything we had into her and she was doing better um maybe it was my fault maybe i didn't spot anything but hey farming you can call me a pro because i reversed down this yes mate so anywho this is one of the sheds that are while she's and um mules are going in so as you can see here we've got OBCs here just because the gates are like this and the sheep will literally get through them so we've put across there we're going to sort something out for there and there um but it just stops them these barrels will all be filled with water can't do this today because i don't have a hose pipe straw will cover here obviously and then ibc's will either be again here and here and it's just a wind protection basically um but yeah it's progress tomorrow there will be sheep i just thought i'd do a quick little vlog just to update you guys on what's happening um I know that I think this vlog's going to be quite long because I chatted last time. I'm going to head to the farm, pick up gates, what have you. Um, and then I need to go to the post office, go and check our lambs and uh, wait till Ben's finished work. But progress made and yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying these sheep vlogs. Because it's literally my life right now. Um, so if you don't like it, then don't watch. Please, please don't feel like you have to watch. But um, thank you guys for watching. If anyone watches this, I'm just literally posting it from my own memories right now. Um, yeah. Don't forget to check out all my other videos. Um, they are farming related. Uh, and it's very bloody cold. So I am going to get cracking, go home. Make sure I've got everything I need, get the movement form, etc. Um, I might move the gates with just a pick up and just tie it down with bale and twine because that seems like the easiest option right now. Safe, maybe not, but 
hey we're down a private track so it doesn't really matter if it falls out because no cars come down here um anyway give this video a big thumbs up uh, thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and i will see you in my new one bye guys